The Turning Tides DLC for Battlefield 1 is already partially out. Achibaba and Cape Hells are already available in the base client, but we've got to wait until January for the second two maps to be released. Zabuga Raid is one of them, and we previously got to test that on the CTE recently, and I've also covered that in a video already. But the last map is called Heligoland Bite, and it's the only one that we haven't seen yet until now, that is. In keeping with the recent map reveals for Turning Tides, we got to playtest an early white box version of Heligoland Bite recently on the CTE, and you'll also be able to jump in yourself and test the map later this week when it goes live in the CTE for everyone. If you've got premium, get involved and give it a bit of a playtest. Heligoland, it does kind of sound like Legoland, but I promise it's not. It was actually the setting for the very first naval battle of World War One. There's a lot of gravitas there. Fought on the 28th of August 1914 between the United Kingdom and Germany. The battle took its toll on both sides. Three German light cruisers and one destroyer were sunk. Three more light cruisers were also damaged. 712 sailors killed, 530 injured and a further 336 taken prisoner. The UK suffered only damage to one light cruiser and three destroyers, as well as sadly losing 35 soldiers. The battle was regarded as a massive British victory, which I suppose was a good thing because their fleet consisted of 21 destroyers, two cruisers as well as submarines. They were then supported at long range by an additional six light cruisers and five battle cruisers. That's quite the fleet. After their loss, the German government actually restricted the German fleet and instructed them to stay in port for quite a few months after the battle. So that's the history of it all, but what about the map itself? Well, it's got capture points that work their way around the island. D, for example, is a dune set on its own, then in between that and the mainland is the sea flag called Mainz, which I believe is named after the SMS Mainz, which was a Kohlberg-class light German cruiser that took part in the Heligoland Bight naval battle. After a battle with the British Navy, the Mainz was eventually disabled and sunk. When you hit land, you'll then reach flag B, which is the beach bunker with a fortress cannon. When you wrap around, you reach the A flag, which is a lighthouse, and then you need to head all the way back around the island to hit the E flag, which is a partially submerged U-118 submarine. Now, the U-118 was a German mine-laying submarine from the First World War. Honestly, the submerged U-118 looks awesome on this map, but because it's on the E flag, I fear that it will be somewhat isolated from the majority of play. Heads up if you're after the new Elite class, his home is on the bottom floor of the lighthouse. I do however also recommend the Villa Perosa in the B Beach Bunker, very effective on this map as you can see. Now as you can imagine, with it being turning tides, this is a naval map. Getting to the E flag without a boat is actually quite tricky and very time consuming. You've got to wrap around past the A flag and hug the cliff all the way around to get there. Then assuming you do get there, take the flag, you need to do the same to get all the way back around to reach A or any of the other flags. You can take the other route around the island, but it's far longer and requires a bit of swimming. Boats are the order of the day for the E flag really, but even still, boats can be taken out fairly easily by planes and the destroyers patrolling the seas doesn't help too much either. Now when we played the map, we didn't have a full server, no more than 15v15 at its peak, so the server was only ever half full. When it's released fully onto the CTE, I think I'll be able to easier get a feel of how the map will play when the servers are full up. That being said, the actual playable area for infantry is, well, I can see it being a bit of a choke point between BA and around to E. Hopefully players in boats and planes can thin out the infantry on the land. One thing that I definitely think would work better on this map is having some sort of cave system which kind of flows through the mountain. Perhaps nothing too intricate, but at least some way of players getting between, say, flags B and E, or a shortcut at least. I felt as infantry that it was a bit too time consuming and boring trying to run all the way around to E. In fact, without a boat, I'm not sure that I would even attempt it unless I was pretty deep into the A flag. If the rock face had some routes through it, I think that would make for a better infantry experience. 
I do feel like the boats could do with being a little more effective here too. Against planes, they still feel a little on the weak side and with this being a naval MP map, I think it's important that the boats are strong enough to at least match whatever's around them. Of course, the DLC also comes with new weapons and vehicles, some of which are already in the game. All of the DLC weapons are currently in the vanilla game as well as the new elite class called the Infiltrator. The new L-Class Destroyer is also available to play. In January though, when the final two maps of the DLC are released, we'll also get access to the British Royal Marines and of course the C-Class Airship, which you'll have seen in my Zabrugga Raid video. There's some rumours about a seaplane as well, but I didn't get a chance to play with it in this gameplay session. Overall, this DLC certainly has an interesting blend of naval and infantry combat. Achibaba is a very fun infantry map, while Cape Hell has a blend of both, but I'll still say that it's mostly infantry, but with a naval assault. Zebrugga, however, and Heligoland Bite are naval focus maps for sure. So that's all for today guys, I hope you enjoyed this early look at the last map in the Turning Tides DLC. I'm going to let the remaining footage play out now guys. If you enjoyed the video give me a thumbs up, if you didn't a thumbs down. Subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next one. Lost objective butter.